Hello and welcome to Real and Replica Steel. This is my field review of the 22 caliber IWSC M22 target pistol. If you haven't already watched the desktop review, click on the link above and watch that first. All right, well, I'm back from the field and before I get into the review, I just want to talk a little bit about the testing methodology. This was a new pistol, so before I did any real testing, I put through 50 rounds of the CCI Mini Magnums just to bed the gun in a bit. I also tried a number of other brands of ammunition, including the Winchester PowerPoints, the Highland High Impact RX, and the Fiocchi High Velocity ammunition, which all performed well. Of course, with any 22 caliber pistol, you're going to need to use high velocity ammunition to make sure the pistol will cycle properly. For the main body of the testing, I started with a precision test on a rest at 25 yards, just to assess the accuracy of the gun. I then moved on to a precision sequence uh, free-handed at 25 yards and although this sort of testing for accuracy is somewhat subjective the real purpose was just to, to get a feel for the gun and see how well it shot uh, free-handed. Uh, the third part of the testing was a rapid fire sequence at 10 yards and the purpose of this test was to check the felt recoil of the gun, the balance of the gun and to see how long it took me to reacquire the sights um, in a rapid fire sequence. Okay so on to the precision testing from the rest. Okay, so as you saw, the gun shot pretty well out of the box with a grip of about four inches at 25 yards. Now the next part of the testing was free-handed at 25 yards, but as you'll see, it didn't go quite as well. Well, the second part of the test started off okay and then I started to shoot a few zingers. Well, on this occasion it wasn't my fault, it was actually the gun. What actually happened was that the slide extension, including the front sight, uh, started to come loose from the barrel. It's held in place by a single grub screw which had started to come loose, so the front sight was wiggling around, putting off my aim. Now, this is disappointing for a few reasons. It's disappointing that it should ship from uh, the factory in a state that it could come loose after only 50 rounds or so. But it's all the more disappointing because they didn't actually ship a tool to tighten up the grub screw. So um, it also makes field stripping difficult because you need to take the, uh, the slide extension off before you can take the, the slide off and give the gun a good clean. So I'm, I, I see that as a real oversight for the gun. Other than that, the gun was fun to shoot. It was nicely balanced and uh, I was having quite a good time until that happened. Anyway, after sorting all of that out, the next part of the test was a rapid fire sequence. The rapid fire sequence went reasonably well with a 5 inch grip at 10 yards. Being a 22, the gun has low recoil anyway, so I couldn't really say whether the ported barrel made a difference. I like the high visibility sights, and the gun had a nice balanced feel, so together it made target acquisition during the rapid fire sequence quick and easy. In summary, I'd have to say that this was a fun little gun to shoot. It was a fairly consistent performer straight out of the box, and I expect that accuracy would improve further once it's fully run in. I was disappointed that the front sight came loose during testing, and that there was no tool supplied with the gun to re-tighten it, especially since you have to remove the slide extension to field strip the gun. I did like the decocker, and the ambidextrous safety will suit some people very well. Unfortunately, I couldn't recommend the IWSC M22 Target Edition as a true target pistol. The lack, of, the lack of elevation adjustment on the rear sight means that it's not possible to achieve the perfect sight picture for precision target shooting. I also find that the trigger pull is a little bit too firm for a target gun. That being said, I think that this is a good little gun for the price and it will be well suited to less serious shooters or those on a tight budget. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my review on the IWSC M22 Target Edition. If you've got any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.